XRP 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 The bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page and TikTok at High Vibe Assets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. Bullish, bullish, more bullish, bigger, you know, turn up. Because day in and day out, what we've been showing is that it's a fact that 2023 is the year the digital asset for sure. We already can stamp that. But this fourth quarter is going to put us on an accelerated path to full-blown crypto adoption, blockchain adoption. I've shown the Internet of Value adoption sheet many times on this channel for everybody that subscribed, right? And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm talking about the evolution of this technology. All the way through 2025, 2027, through 2030. Outlooking from the beginning of its creation in 2012, essentially, all the way through 2030. And we are right on path. We are right on time to where everything is supposed to be happening right now in this brand new digital asset space. Bro, what's happening is Ripple is going to be the main protocol that's going to interconnect banks in their cash ledgers, no matter where you are around the world, internationally and globally. You want to talk about blockchain and its number one use case. We've heard the finance minister of the G20, the head of the Bank of International Settlements. Every one of these government high ranking institutions all say the same thing. They're using blockchain for payments. Okay. Payments, cross-border payments to be specifically, international payments. And that's what it's all about. That right there internationally is causing trillions of dollars of problems. Let's talk about no-stroke, vote-stroke accounts real quick. You know you're not even able to have a token or have an automated market maker that can just seamlessly give you exactly what the transaction rate's going to be. You have to hold currency that you're not using. Trillions of dollars, 30 plus trillions of dollars of trapped liquidity that could be circulating inside this market just for one. Millions of dollars of fees that they're paying. The world is going digital. Finance, for sure, is going digital. And Ripple is the main train that's leading this station. And the train has already left. Look at what I'm showing you right here on your screen, family. This is what I'm talking about. They're coming out and they're saying it. No more of this putting things together. You know what I mean? It's live right here in your face. Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority, SAMA. Expect 70% of all payments to be digital by 2025. That's what they're expecting. That's what their numbers tell them. That's what their databases and their pilot programs tell them and it projects out to 2025 just within a mere two and a half years per se away 70 percent of all payments will be digital now when people automatically think about payments and settlements we think about hey when i go and make a transaction and buy this and buy that one thing that i want the people to understand is payments and settlements of all markets okay all transactions, all payments. There are certain markets as us being retail investors, we have no clue about certain financial instruments and certain financial opportunities that are available that are very volatile, that have large market caps, swaps, overnight markets, derivatives. And some of you are learning about these things now being subscribed to the channel. But 70% of all payments will be digital by 2025. This is the Internet of Value family coming to you live 100 miles an hour. Understand this, though. The Saudi Central Bank and UAE Central Bank finished their joint CBDC projects. And you have to be rest assured 
that you know who they worked with on their blockchain CBDC products. Here we have right here, we have an article. We have Central Bank of Saudi Arabia teams up with the Amazon of crypto to transform cross-border settlements. Now, look, they're just saying that 70% of all payments will be digital by 2025. I've played a couple of clips of representative from ISO 20022. They're saying the same thing. Their projections say the same thing. They say 85%. So these numbers are high. And these are machines and pilots and programs that they have ran to project out to the future so they can know exactly where they need to go. This is what the article is saying. And this is what's happening right now. Ripple is, man, I'm telling you, if you just look at the board, Michael Barr, Brad Garlinghouse, Rosie Rios, I mean, just them alone, right? And the continual team, think about the acquisitions. $250 million that a startup has cash on their books to buy a leading custodial cryptocurrency digital blockchain company from Switzerland. This is this is why I'm telling you, man. Look, you're bullish. You need to step it up a little bit more. You know, if you if you if you got bags, this might be your last opportunity to cop a bag at these cheap prices. Things could get out of hand overnight. In a significant development, the Central Bank of Saudi Arabia has unveiled a strategic partnership with Ripple, a renowned blockchain firm aimed at revolutionizing cross-border settlements. This move underscores the bank's commitment to enhancing its financial infrastructure through cutting-edge technology. And this is why Ripple, you know, is the first ones out the gate. In America, Brad Garlinghouse, his case is out. Um, Chris Larson, his case is out. The Ripple versus the SEC case is still about to up for settlement. XRP is not a security. So the infrastructure, not just in America, this is all the way in Saudi Arabia. They're the ones that's building it. They're the ones that's getting everybody to the aunt ramp. And XRP is the secret sauce. We understand that. This is getting better and better as the day goes on, family. We were right this whole entire time. The central bank of Saudi Arabia's recognition of Ripple as a partner for cross-border settlements highlights its increased importance of innovative solutions in the global financial landscapes. RippleNet, which is you know very important, you talk about RippleNet, you talk about financial inclusion, okay, interoperability, being able to have these blockchains connect to each other and being able to operate seamlessly between one another. Ripple Nets, their API, man, is just plug and play. Plug into the system and enjoy the benefits of blockchain technology. Ripple Net, again, a decentralized global payments network. This is what it's about. This is why you're seeing the Bank of International Settlements with their task force on cross-border payments. This is the reason why you're seeing the International Monetary Fund releasing reports and statements in the benefits of blockchain for cross-border payments. This is the reason why you just heard the G20 recently talking about stamping its approval and regulation on cross-border payments. This has been set up from the beginning. Ripple is the Amazon of crypto and XRP, I keep telling y'all, is the greatest digital asset ever created. I'm just going to continue just to report this on an everyday basis, man. I know what I'm talking about. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Again, RippleNet, a decentralized global payments network, man. You can just plug in, plug and play. will play a pivotal role in facilitating seamless cross-border payments this is what the central bank of saudi arabia is talking about now they're just saying that look 70 percent of all payments gonna be digital by 2025 just imagine people love to talk about market cap people love to talk about oh it has to do this and do that think about all the payments in the world think about them being digital in just a small amount of percentage that ribble and xrp needs to take off of that play family i'm telling you Go ahead and load those bags. 
the utilization of the cryptocurrency XRP for swift payment settlements adds an extra layer of efficiency and speed to the process. This is what we are talking about, family. This is exactly what we want to see. And this article is coming from the Saudi Central Bank and Central Bank of UAE Joint Digital Currency and Distributed Ledger Project family. This is where we're talking about. This is where we're going. We're going to the stratosphere. All right. Um, look, we've got a few questions coming in. I want to get to a few of these. We've got five minutes. Um, uh, to Dilip, uh, this question comes from the audience. Many people are using cryptos just to buy and sell and make quick gains out of it. Does it hurt the growth of cryptocurrencies, that usage for, for, for a quick buck? So, I mean, it's, it's kind of chicken and egg. You have to create a marketplace. And right now, we have about 150, 200 exchanges around the world that trade in XRP. Uh, a lot of it, as you say, is very shallow trading by individuals. And that is not the use case that we are pursuing. What we are pursuing is the use of XRP as a financial asset by sophisticated institutions as a bridging uh, mechanism. So, does this hurt or harm? Well, it creates a lot of noise. And, uh, you know, we certainly don't want that much noise, uh, but we're waiting. And for example, in this last quarter, uh, the bulk of XRP sales were to institutional investors. And as this transitions away from retail to institutions, we'll start to use it for wholesale um, you know, financial usage. That's when the turning point will come. Let's see what Goldman Sachs talking about the opportunity in payments. You see payments as an opportunity, huh? Okay. And you know what, man? We're not going to allow them to get away with this type of information anymore. They've been doing this for a long time. This is the reason why you subscribe to this channel. We go behind the scenes and see exactly what they're talking about. Circle. Accept payments with legacy rails that settle in digital currency. Let international customers pay with their preferred payment method from traditional rails like cards and bank transfers to blockchain rails that span the Internet in one unified API. My goodness. All transactions settling USDC directly into your circle account where you can convert a connected bank account or leverage the power of on chain digital dollars. Built-in tooling for fraud management and operations. You got traditional payments. You have your USDC and you have your Circle's account. You see Goldman Sachs sees Circle as an opportunity in payments. I'm pretty sure that they have their dollars flaunting that Circle. What are they talking about with the Amazon of crypto? We're talking about Ripple. Banks join Ripple. See, the first thing that it says is banks, okay? This is for financial institutions this is for governments banks central banks it's not really for the retail investors but let's read this banks join ripple net to process cross-border payments in real time with end-to-end -end tracking and certainty available in 55 countries across six continents RippleNet makes it easy to connect and transact across a robust network of financial institutions. This is what Goldman Sachs is saying. With RippleNet, financial institutions can expand payment offerings into new markets that are otherwise difficult or expensive to reach. This is a brand new revenue stream family, low cost, one integration point, consistent experience same thing about coinbase go live in minutes and not days no fees to accept cryptocurrency sell cryptocurrencies for cash or usdc except price stable cryptocurrency such as usdc tap into a global customer base be your own bank with no middleman irreversible chargebacks are things of the past they are going to be multiple winners in this space this technology is going to spread out like tentacles, okay? You're going to need to be partnered with this company. This protocol needs to be able to do this with this protocol. It needs to be able to connect with this back-end protocol, make money agnostic, just like information 
is on the internet. This is the internet of value family. And the first value, the biggest value of the IOV is payments. Goldman Sachs is seeing the Amazon of crypto as being a huge opportunity in payments. What's the secret sauce of RippleNet? XR. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on those notifications. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor, but please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP. 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 The bulls getting ready to run out the gate.